bubble bubble you can struggle while actually no it's chanada welcome to another edition of chalo kawa today we are making chana dal now make your vagar like you normally would and then you're going to add in your mutton pieces so it's a chana dal with meat but sorry vegetarian this is not for you omit the meat if you are not happy with it now i'm going to add my ginger garlic masala 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 and i'm going to give it a nice nice stir very very nice once your mutton is nice and tender you're going to take your masala again and this is all your spices dry spices add it all in together be very lazy allow it to be because i'm letting it be lazy all right so you put that in get clever and give it a stir again not quite difficult is it are you stupid i like to say stupid mix 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 then we simply take some hot water and pour it over because it's looking very dry like my jokes today okay put the hot water now we want our mutton to cook nicely so we cover the pot and leave it alone Once your mutton is nice and tender, add the dal which we boiled earlier. Add it all in and leave it alone for a little while. Little while. Now, using your spatula, spoon, whatever you have, give it a nice mix. Let all those flavors combine. Mix, mix, mix. Now let the dal come to a bubbling, boiling, bubbling, bubbling, boiling point. Close up your pot and turn your heat down and go do something useful. Like pray. Pray has been answered. Oh yes, look at that. Now I'm just going to garnish it with some nice green. So I'm using some heavy greenies, probably tanya, tanya chili. I don't know, just whatever I find. Add some more, add some more, because little is not enough. Very nice, very very nice. Add more. What the hell? There you have it, chana dal. Just a little bit more. I can't help myself, can I? 